Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to another brand new video and today I am super excited to be showing you the full collection of Takara Tomy Wild Animal Toys, okay? So basically, in this video, you can see every single wild animal figure from Takara Tomy. So let's get started. There are basically six different categories from Takara Tomy. The wild animals, dinosaurs, cute animals, the good dinosaur series and this one over here are animals and dinosaurs with sounds and this one over here are the play sets so today we will be looking at the wild animal toys and of course some figures from play sets and some or rather two animals from the musical series okay so let's get started with the very first one okay this set over here it's a brand new set from 2017. They are the baby wild animals. They are super cool. This comes in a box, box of eight. And there are actually eight different boxes, okay? And each box contains a different wild animal toy. So let's get started with the first box. Okay, the first one over here, it's a little piglet. Super cute super super cute okay take a look at this a piglet I'll place it right over here and the next one I'm gonna show you this the white lion and this is actually from the, the treehouse playset which is really really awesome there is actually a brand new playset which is coming out and it contains an exclusive black lion okay and that is a figure which I really really want to get it but it's not um, available for purchasing I mean from my side okay the next one I'm gonna show you will be the 2017 figures okay this six over here are from 2017 okay so let's take a look at this the Indian rhinoceros it's very different from the white rhinoceros so let's take a look at this This is the Indian Rhinoceros. Let's have a comparison with the White Rhino, okay? This is the White Rhino which is endangered. So please do not buy Rhino products. Do your part to save the Rhinos. So let's have a comparison between the White Rhino and the Indian Rhinoceros. As you guys can see, there are a lot more creases and bombs on the Indian Rhino as compared to the White Rhino. Super awesome. You can rotate both the head. <laughs> really cute. To Rhino. Which one is uh, your favorite? The White Rhino or the Indian Rhinoceros? The next one I'm going to show you. This is actually one of my favorite figures from Takara Tomy. It actually comes with this little fish. So this one is the brown bear. So let's open this. Each box comes with some cards. Sometimes they, are, um, they come in two different languages, Japanese and um, English. The English text on it, sometimes the translation can be a little bit weird. But what is important is that they actually give you some facts about the creature, which is really, really good. For example, they tell you the height of the animal, which is 1.3 to 2 meters in height, and the male bear weighs about 120 to 350 kilograms. Really awesome. The brown bear, and let me try to fix up this little fish. This little fish over here it looks really, really nice. You can actually fit this into the bear's mouth okay so cute like this super cool you can rotate the head which is really awesome the paint work the details are just brilliant you can even see the paws how cool is that you put the box aside and of course the fish the next one I'm going to show you will be this, also one of my favorite. 
this is the okapi which is known as the unicorn of africa which is because they are very very hard to spot they are very elusive and mysterious okay they're closely related to giraffes okapi this is a very very interesting um, animal just open this up and let's have a look at what's inside people first discovered them in uh, 1901 they always live alone which, which means they are solitary animals and have strong weariness I uh, guess it means a very good sense of awareness so people still do not know much information about them okay which is true they are very elusive they're very hard to find okay and they are very very um, few in the wild okay so okapi very very mysterious animals place this right over here i really love this figure okay it's actually pretty hard to find okapi um, figures out there but the toys this flamingo is also a brand new 2017 um, figure from Takara Tomy. Very nice. So let's open this up right now. And this box comes with two flamingos. So how cool is that? And these two flamingos, they look, um, are they exactly the same? Nope, not really. As you guys can see, the leg pose are totally different. Okay, um, Articulate this articulation on the neck, which is really cool. You can't bend it all the way down, but this is really good enough. It comes with a little base, which looks very nice. Place it over here, and let's have a look at this. This one over here, it's also super awesome. I guess they have made a lot of improvements on the 2017 models as they are they come with different accessories and this one come with um, a human an Eskimo kit which is really nice a wolf let's open this up right now so firstly let's take a look at this Eskimo kit which looks so cute and it's so well detailed and uh, very nicely done there's no articulation on this figure, but it's looking super awesome. Okay, this is the gray wolf, or rather the wolf. Very nice, very nicely painted on um, the eyes. The articulation, are, it's very, very um, slight. There's no articulation on all four limbs. You can't move the tail as well. But the paint job is just brilliant, okay. And the quality, the texture, the material they use, you know, it's incredible. I love it a lot. So this is also a 2017 models. I'm actually showing you the 2017 models first, followed by the old ones um, later on, okay? And this one over here, it's a Stalos Sea Eagle, which is also a 2017 model. Very nice. Comes with a cut as well. Eagle breeds around the um, Skorsky coast in Russia. They come over to Hokkaido along with the southward drifting ice. Many eagles gather at the Shayotoko Peninsula and they eat fish spit from the net. Okay, very interesting. Um, um, right up about over there. <laughs> Beg your pardon. So this is the Stellar Sea Eagle looking really really nice the color contrast is just awesome both wings can be um, flat and posed which looks really awesome comes with a fish as well and this fish looks like um, exactly the same as the one from the bear you can fit this into its mouth like this super cool it's kind of loose just gonna place it right over here so we have the Stellar Sea Eagle. So let's take a look at the next one, shall we? Let's take a look at this lion and maybe we can have a comparison. This lion should be an African lion. So let's open this up and have a comparison with the white lion. 
So basically they look exactly the same just with a different paint work but as you guys can see even the tongue the color of the tongue <laughs> is totally different the one from the white line is um, it's a brighter red as compared to this um, normal lion and um, there's actually articulation on um, this white lion legs okay, move his legs and this one is totally um, unposable lovely paw prints as well so you guys can see this one has a pinkish paws and this one has a more darker tone okay darker tone next let's take a look at this one over here which is also one of my favorite the hippopotamus very very heavy um, figure this actually feels heavier um, than the indian rhinoceros the hippopotamus is actually one of the fiercest animals it's actually much fiercer than um, say the lion okay next let's have a look at this a very cute panda bear giant panda kung fu panda very nice you can see the very fine details on the fur which looks really really nice you can rotate his head you can move it up and down like this pretty cool nicely done and this panda looks really adorable as you guys can see the eyes looks really really cute okay place it over here and let's see let's take a look at this um, figures with sounds and this is the lion um, I mean the elephant <laughs> what am I talking about so this is the elephant oops so there's a switch below this elephant so we can just switch it on very easily like this so how do you activate the sound of, of this elephant all you need to do is just to push the trunk downwards like this or rather upwards it will produce a different um, sound each time you uh, lift its trunk so this is like a tracking sound and this one could be um, when he's trying to lift some stuff and this is the sound of uh, maybe uh, drinking some water I'm trying to find a trumpeting sound for you guys there you go the trumpeting sound okay, very nice okay. this is actually a pretty huge um, figure much larger than this one over here maybe this can be considered a um, baby elephant and this one could be a very fully grown adult elephant just place it over here and um, the next one I'm gonna show you this one uh, which also has sounds and this one is over here it's a huge lion so similarly it has a switch below so you can just turn it on very easily and um, to activate the sound with different balls you can just push the mouth open it very easily right now you can hear some growling sounds pretty cool I love the fur it looks really nice the mane really awesome I'll place it over here and the next one I'm gonna show you the Nile Krukundaro this one over here it's an individual pack as you guys can see there's another one over here which looks like a Nile crocodile as well so let's have a comparison maybe some of you might think it, it's an alligator this one over here it's definitely a Nile crocodile as compared to this one 
Okay, but the two look very similar. There's articulation on the jaw. Okay, and this creature over here has a very, very strong bite force. Okay, super cool. Next, let's have a look at um zebras. Zebras. As you guys know, zebras they have um, unique um, strike patterns, which is similar to human fingerprints. So no zebras will have the exact same patterns. Really nice. Next, let's take a look at um, the silverback gorillas. Okay. The gorilla it's about 1.1 meters to um, 0.9 meters in um, height, I guess. So let's open this up right now. In length, I guess, I'm not too sure. Really cute. I love this figure a lot. Take a look at the huge arms. Okay, a gorilla is a very very strong animal. Place it right over here. Next, I'm gonna show you the tallest land animal, which is the giraffe. Okay, obviously this one over here it's a baby giraffe, but of course we have a we have an adult giraffe, which I will show you later on. So. Here's the baby giraffe. Very cool. So the giraffes has a very long neck which allows it to feed on uh, leaves from very tall trees, obviously. Okay. And giraffes, they perform this thing called necking, where they use the necks um, and they strike it against other giraffes it's a kind of um training i suppose like sparring In, uh, yeah pretty cool so let's take a look at the next animal the fastest animal the cheetah okay they can run up to speeds like 120 kilometers per hour and that is super fast I don't even drive that fast. <laughs> Cheater. As you guys can see, it has a very, very slender body. A cheetah is definitely not as powerful or strong as a, um, a lion, but they are definitely faster than a lion. Oops. So little space over here. As you guys can see, there are so many animals over here looking really really nice so next let's take a look at um this one over here the lioness and um a cop so we have a pride of lions this is also one of my favorite um figures partly because they are so Nicely painted. Take a look at those paw prints. So nicely painted. They are manually paint, painted. And um, take a look at the baby cup. Some droopy eyes. She looks so so cute. Okay, super cute. And this is the lioness. Very awesome. I love it. So yep, place it right over here. And let's take a look at this white tiger a special edition a white tiger is actually slightly um, larger than a, a normal orange tiger okay a bengal tiger but it's actually harder for them to survive in the wild because of its colors it's very hard for them to camouflage themselves they have blue eyes and they have pink nose and um, they just look super beautiful next let's take a look at um, chimpanzees and chimpanzees they are very 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 smart animals 
and they are actually very ferocious omnivorous animals I've actually watched a documentary on Animal Planet your chimpanzees they actually hunt other monkeys so that is just very scary and they even hurt their own species you know for power um, and food so that is actually quite terrifying so if you guys you know I suggest you can uh, go check out more documentaries on chimpanzees it's very interesting to watch They're very smart and clever um, animals very strong as well and they are like the closest relatives to the humans so let's take a look at the next one let me see which one shall we take a look oh maybe the baby um, animals I've totally forgotten about this so we have a lot to cover actually I'm gonna have to speed up so we have a baby bear over here which is a cup okay it looks very cute I'm gonna place it here next to this brown bear let me just take out one more box baby it's pretty tight the box let's take a look at the box it looks amazing really amazing oh my goodness take a look at this how cute is this <laughs> super cute a tiger car this is so cute okay you can bend its head downwards like this so um, the adult tiger is actually over here so we are gonna open that later on so let me just open up another um, baby animal it looks so adorable and what do we have here a raccoon super cute this articulation on the tail so I'm gonna put it right over here and let me just open up another baby animal if you guys take a look at the box it is so well designed I love it a lot if so if you buy the entire box you can actually slot this thing in so it comes like a display like this it looks super cool I've just toppled a lot of animals <laughs> so this one over here it's another baby animal so let's see what do we have here so we have a deer over here that looks like Bambi very nice really really awesome work from Takara told me so you guys can see the paintwork and the details they are just amazing and um, the toys actually look pretty lifelike okay next one another super cute animal I suppose and what is this? This looks like a baby warthog. I'm not too sure. If you guys know, you can let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna go with baby warthog. Okay. So we have two more baby animals to cover. So let's see what we have here. A baby hippo. Okay. And how cute is this? super cute okay it's kind of soft this portion over here as you guys can see when I close it kinds of um shake a little so we have a baby hippo I'm gonna put it on top of this adult hippo yeah I managed to do it it's pretty cute next one a car but there's no cow from the wild animal set so I guess this is from the cute animal series so we have a calf over here just gonna place it right over here 
Okay, so we have finished the baby animals, so it's now time to continue with the adult ones. So we have two meerkats. Very nice. Place it over here. Two hours. A snowy owl and a normal owl. Obviously, this one over here is the snowy owl. Next, kangaroo. If a baby kangaroo, which is known as a joey, in his pocket, or rather the pouch. And where does the kangaroo live? Do you guys know? Australia. Articulation on their legs. And the next one looks like a raccoon, but this is a red panda. Red panda, super cute. In Singapore, the red panda is actually kept in the same enclosure as the panda bear. The pa giant panda, I mean. Take a look at their face. Very nice. Really love it. Next, another elephant. So this elephant is actually different from this one over here. This one is actually from um, the elephant train set. This one, it's from um, the music one, the figure with sounds. So I actually like this one the most with two um, joints two points of articulation very nice really awesome next rabbits I'm not too sure why they included a rabbit in um, the wild animal set because they could have um, placed them in um, the pets series so two rabbits over here super cute can move the head no place to place all these toys. Okay, this table is too small. Next one, reindeer. Super awesome. They do look like a moose. Articulation on the head and take a look at this. Wow. The antlers are do look really really nice. Next, Bactrian Camel. I've not opened up this figure for such a long time and it's pretty refreshing to see them you know once again. Very nice. Okay, I never get tired of all these Takara Tomi figures. They just look super awesome. And what I like about them is that they are actually very small. You know, if you buy um, figures from other toy brands, they're usually pretty big. So this one, and they come with very nice packaging as well. So they're definitely my favorite brand. Okay, so two panda cups, very cute. So you can actually place them um, together with um, the mummy. It's very nice. So you can actually create like a diorama of your own with all these animals, they all look super awesome. The next one, the tiger. The Bengal tiger, I suppose. So this is the tiger carp and let's have um, a comparison as you guys can see both have very um, pretty eyes one has blue eyes the baby cup has a uh, blue eyes and the mom or the, the, the dad maybe has green eyes very nice the matching stripes of course but I actually prefer um, the baby one as you guys can um, see um, the texture on the fur looks better. This one is actually uh, very smooth. Different paw, paws, yeah, I guess, because it's a baby, still has, the paws are still very um, 
pinkish. So we are left with two boxes. The Japanese monkeys. Okay, the Japanese monkeys actually um, come in two different packaging. You know, one of it is actually the Chinese Lunar, Lunar New Year um, packaging, which is different from this. This is the standard standard packaging. So you have the adult monkey over here and the baby, which you can just put it on top of his back like this. Looks super cool. Some space over here, so I'm gonna put it over here. Oh my goodness. Monkey just fell off and knocked the hippopotamus babies off his back. So just try to balance it back. The last box that we have is the um, koala. Okay, so this is the koala, and um, yep, super cute. It actually comes with um, a little tree. I guess it's the uh, a branch. Very nice. Yep. So these are all the wild animal toys. I've actually another box to show you guys, okay? Which is the African um, animal set. I'm pretty sure that you guys have seen it before. And um, yep. So you have a huge giraffe over here. This is like an exclusive giraffe from the set. And um, an elephant. Another lion. So this lion is actually um, bigger than this one, as you guys can see. Slightly bigger and the paint work is slightly different as well. I would definitely prefer um, the one from the individual pack, but this one over here is my favorite, but I can't wait for the black lion. The bla black lion is like an exclusive and a very mysterious um, animal. So that's all. I hope that you guys you know enjoy all this Takara told me figures and you guys must be asking where can I buy all these figures? The best way is to purchase them from um, online sites like Amazon. Because these toys they are readily available in Asia countries like Japan, Hong Kong, um, China and stuff. But they're pretty hard to get in um, US and other um, European countries and um, countries outside of Asia okay so that's all for today's video if you like this video just give it a thumbs up share it leave me a comment you guys know I read every single comment and um, try my best to reply to each and every one of you if you are, are not a subscriber yet hit the subscribe button down below press the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload a video okay and if you guys want to support me you can go on to my patreon website and um yeah can support me by um yeah you can just go onto the website and have a, have a read so your support will be uh, really appreciated so that's all for today's video i hope to see you guys tomorrow in the next video see you